Hello, it's us. We are picking thingies. What are these called? Beans. Yeah, but what's like the cool name? Dragon tongue. Look at these beans. All our bean plants died apparently. But that's okay because I don't like <laughs> beans. Ew. Are they not well? They're not well. That's unfortunate. We didn't grow any pumpkins this year, so we're gonna have to buy a pumpkin or two. We grew weird cucumbers. I wasn't expecting them to die. Okay. You see these white things? Those are cucumbers and they have little spikes and the spikes disturb me so much. We're kidnapping that one. Cucumber napping. We don't have enough beans. We gotta make Samaya's recipe with the cucumbers. Is that it? Yeah, no, I guess I'll get this one. That one's a funny looking shape. Who are you? Oh, I am not. That's it. This is it for the garden. Hi. <laughs> oh, look at my bangs. This is horrible. Um, so I'm home alone again for yet another weekend. And we might have another crisis. First of all, I still have... I can like hear myself echoing in my headphones. First of all, I still have my kidney stone from last weekend. And still have an excruciating sinus headache. But now, now, here's our issue. My cat won't eat her dinner. She's constipated. <laughs> we have been giving her Miralax and her food for like, I don't know, a year now. And now she's constipated again. She won't eat her dinner. I'm like, this cat is gonna like die. And like, I can't do anything. Angel's 19, she's very old, so whenever, like, she won't, like, eat her dinner or anything, I'm like, oh my gosh, cannot handle it. So, anyways, I'm trying to cover a Broadway song. Why? I don't know, because that's not what I cover. And, oh my gosh, it's, like, exhausting. It's very, like, shouty, because you use, like, your chest voice, not, like, your head voice. And, oh my gosh, it's, like... I'm like getting out of breath so easily trying to like shout the song like ah uh! so anyways um I'm like piecing together my cover I'm working on it but oh my gosh it's exhausting and <laughs> it's not helping my headache at all but I've had this headache for like two weeks now so like I can't just not do things because I have a headache I'm like low-key debating if I want to like go to urgent care or something and be like, hey, I've had a sinus headache for like two weeks now. Nothing I'm doing is helping it. Like, can you help me? Because it just, it's making my quality of life suck. <laughs> so are my kidney stones, but you know, can't really do much about those, but so that's my status update. It's Friday night. I'm shouting a song <laughs> at 9 30 at night i have my windows closed but that's what i'm up to so we'll see if this cover turns into anything good i don't know though because like i feel like i don't have a broadway voice um <laughs> like i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna be good at singing like the really there's a lot of high parts in this song and I can sing high. I have a very high voice. I can't sing low at all. But I don't know if I can sing high with a chest voice. So, <laughs> it's an experience. I just edited together the first part of it. And oh my gosh, it sounds so good. I don't know how it sounds so good. Like, ah, uh, I'm like dying. It sounds so good. Except <laughs> it's only coming in through this headphone not this one and I don't know why it's not my headphones because the original track that I'm like recording it with is coming in through both of them so I don't know how to fix that but I need to fix that but it sounds so good oh my gosh and I like put um like effects on like the on the, on the vocal part and it's like I don't know like echo and reverb and like all this stuff and oh my gosh it sounds so good I'm like so excited 
I need to like clip these back because every time I start filming I'm just like oh these bangs this weekend is going exponentially better than last weekend I finished the melody part vocal part and I am shocked at some of these notes that I'm hitting because I've never really sung high belty notes like this before so good <laughs> I don't know now I gotta figure out what the heck key I put this thing in because I transposed it up like four half steps and I have no idea what key this is in so now I gotta learn how to play it on guitar and then record it with guitar and then like add in some extra snazzy stuff so that's the whole thing so now I gotta do that <laughs> so yeah this cat I swear won't eat her dinner but you know what if I open this door she would gladly take a trip outside. Like, yeah. What are we doing? Won't eat dinner, but you go outside. That's concerning. Okay, where do you think you're going? Excuse you. Tank! Tank, come! Now watch. Try giving her her dinner again. She's not gonna want any of it. I put it in the microwave. Yeah, you remember this? It's dinner. She's like, yeah, no. No, not interested. You choose now to drink? Good morning, it's not morning. It's 4 p.m. because I didn't sleep at all last night because of my dumb cat. She decided not to eat and then she tasted her breakfast this morning and ate like 20% of it and I was like, good night. So, I have a headache. My mom ordered this stuff for me. Look how beat up it came in the mail. What the heck? So these things are like, don't cut it or chew it and blah, blah, blah. I cannot swallow something this huge. So I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to cut it. You know what I need to do? I need to do the neti pot thing, but I'm scared to death that it's gonna feel like I'm like drowning. So I'm especially not gonna do that while I'm here home alone. She's drinking. Do you wanna go outside? Let's go. She'll just follow me, like, literally wherever I go. Oh my gosh, she's, like, running. <laughs> you wanna go outside? Ah. Yeah. Ooh, so we got a package today, as I showed you. I got medicine. Make sure I don't close her tail in the door. We have this little... Wow. Yeah, I know. We have this little cooler for delivery people. So I'm gonna see if they took anything. Actually, I don't know what was in here, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tell. But a lot of them take the Oreos. <laughs> that seems to be their favorite right now. So, I got Angel. I need to start thinking about my Christmas stuff because Christmas stresses me out. Like, the other people part of it, not like me part of it. I already made my Christmas list, slash my birthday list, but I need to like work on other people's Christmas gifts. Even though it's only September, it's like almost October, and this stuff stresses me out. So, I know what my mom wants. She told me she wanted, oh, what is it called? Hemp's lotion and it's like the pineapple one and for my dad i'm making him a homemade beef jerky calendar actually i don't think it's just limited to beef jerky i think it's any kind of jerky so what i'm gonna do where are we going what i'm gonna do is get See, I thought I had one of these, but I looked in the basement and apparently I don't. I'm going to buy a shoe organizer, like one that hangs on the door. So there's like pockets. And I counted online like 
a month or two ago in case I didn't have one which apparently I don't and there's like 24 shoe spots so what is this like black thing that's like annoying me what hey what are we doing let's not eat random stuff on the porch anyways um there were 24 shoe spot thingies so you know like 24 days and then I'll give them something on the 25th but that's how I'm gonna make my homemade jerky advent calendar for my dad and I need to work on like doing that and get the shoe thing and then get the jerky I need to order my mom's thing my grandparents should be easy because I'm probably just gonna bake them stuff so that's like usually what I do that's, that was like not stressful because around like the holidays I'm like baking tons of things like last year me and my mom baked different cookies every week so we just had lots of different cookies all the time so that shouldn't be stressful because that's just like one and done not like one and done but like a couple and done type of a thing and there you go I hear a dog I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Doggo! He likes to walk down the walkway, and it's the funniest thing ever. He's such a weird dog. So, I'm going to start working on that, because then I can just be like, okay, I'm done. And, like... I want to get all different beef jerkies or jerkies and then like wrap them in wrapping paper so he can't like see ahead what they are and I'm gonna put it on the back of his bedroom door so he just has it so comment down below if Christmas stresses you guys out and if you are already doing like Christmas gift planning because I'm already totally there one other thing I thought about what is this my hair is doing some weird things um, so I'm sitting on my porch, obviously. Hello. And, hey, stop kicking the grass. I was out here the other night because my dad dropped my bird feeder out the window. And when I was out here getting it, I was like, you know, it smells like a skunk out here. My dad goes, oh yeah, I think there's a skunk living under the porch. And I was like, what? And so, when I've been out here, whenever I'm out here, I'm like paranoid now. I always like sniff the air and see if I smell a skunk to see if like that's true. And so I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, I haven't really smelled skunk out here except for that night. So. I don't know if there really is a skunk living under here. And I'm sitting here and then I start smelling skunk and I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? So I think there might for real be a skunk living under the porch. And that's kind of concerning. Like, okay, my dog has been skunked before. I think he's been skunked like twice, maybe just once. I'm not sure. I vlogged it. It's on my channel. You can search for it. And it was horrible. And it was a whole thing, like, you have to, like, get him in the bathtub without letting him touch anything so that he doesn't get the skunk stink on everything. And I'm just like, if he gets skunked while I'm home alone, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, ugh. So I'm concerned. Hopefully, the skunk just stays under the porch. Now I'm, like, paranoid. I'm like, where is it? Where is it going to come out? <laughs> So I have a garage, obviously. And my garage door is locked, so I don't get murdered. I'm cooking macaroni and cheese. And I cannot tell you how many times I have almost locked myself out in the garage. Luckily I haven't, but oh my gosh. I keep giving myself mini heart attacks because I almost locked myself out. It's me. Ignore all of this. This is me picking at my face. 
I'm not doing so well anymore. Neither is Angel. I mean, she's doing fine, but she's not really eating, but she's acting normal. So good enough. I'm the one dying. Now, it's my turn to die. So, I'm like, extremely hot, but having chills at the same time. Um, I'm like dizzy and nauseous, but I think that's because my sinus headache because it's very painful and my kidney stone from last weekend and my face is very pale so my mom is like concerned it's Saturday night she's like maybe you should call your grandparents and have them take you to urgent care tomorrow and I'm like maybe you should just come home tomorrow in a timely fashion so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's wrong with me. I do have a baby fever of 99.5. So that's another thing. I don't know. I might just die. Who knows? Okay. I just did this. Oh my gosh. There's so many moths on my windows. And it's gross. I just did this thing where I like put in my symptoms to a thing and then it tells me what it thinks I have and it's like strong evidence that you have a migraine and I'm like I do not have a migraine I have a sinus headache like no that's completely different <sighs> my ears hurt both of them from my headache hello it's Sunday my voice sounds so weird because my throat hurts so bad my throat like hurts in my ear <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense so okay this is the best way I can describe it <laughs> this is like weird hopefully some of you like get what I'm talking about because I don't know if this is gonna make any sense but like okay when you cry sometimes it like hurts in this weird back part of your throat and like kind of into your ear like I don't know how to explain this like this is like the only thing I know that it like feels like and like I don't know it just like constantly hurts like from my ear down to like the back of my throat like really bad I took oh I got chills I took a 12 hour time release mucinex thing I took more Zequil because it has Tylenol and Benadryl, and I know you're only supposed to take that at night, but I want Tylenol and Benadryl, so I just took the Zequil, so don't come at me! My ear hurts so bad. And now I'm scared I have a sinus infection, or an ear infection, because it hurts in a different way. Like, <laughs> like before it was like a headache in my ear, now it's a sore throat in my ear. If that makes any sense, I don't know if it does. So, anyways. I just watched a movie on YouTube, and I thought of something funny that related to the movie, so I thought I would tell you guys. So, in high school, in two of my English classes, like, one was 10th grade, and I don't know when the other one was, maybe, like, 11th grade? I think it was 10th and 11th grade English class. Sometimes we would, like watch movies not like usually only if they like like okay for my english classes in high school oh my gosh my ear hurts so bad it like hurts when i'm like talking we would have to read at least four books a year and each quarter of the school year we had to read one of those books and so we would write an essay based off of one of the books. There was always a theme. Like, I remember one of the themes was, like, the American dream. And for that, we did The Great Gatsby. And, like, so we read all these books. And then we wrote all these essays. And sometimes, if we, like, had extra days, we would watch the movie of the book that we just read for fun. I don't know. So, but this was not one of those times. This was, like, before winter break because a lot of times a lot of people would be absent like the week before or like the Friday or the Thursday and the Friday before winter break because they were like going on vacation or like whatever so we would watch a movie because teachers were like well they're probably gonna miss class anyway so let's just watch a movie so 
here's the story. We watched this movie called The Dead Poet Society. And it has Robin Williams in it. Love him. And, <laughs> um, we watched it because it, like, it's about an English class and poetry. Yeah. So, we watched The Dead Poet Society, and there's a poem which is very popular in this movie, and it's the Oh Captain, My Captain poem. And in one part of the movie, this movie's on YouTube, free with ads, so, like, please watch it if you haven't seen it. It's, like, really good. There's this part in the movie where the students stand up on their desks and say, Oh, Captain, my Captain, to their teacher. And in 10th grade, on the last day of school, we all stood up in my English class and said, Oh, Captain, my Captain, to my English teacher. And he was one of those English teachers that was, like, really into, like, everything like really into every book really into analyzing like what's the symbolism of this and like all that stuff i'm not into that i hated it like i hated english class just because like reading don't like it somehow i love to write fan fiction no idea how that works hate reading but love to write but we all stood up on our desks and said oh captain my captain to my english teacher he freaking loved it. Like, he's probably going to remember that for, like, the rest of his life. Whatever. So, that's my little story about the Dead Poet Society. And also, the, like, the school that it's at. It's, like, a, like, a boarding school. And it's, like, an all-boys boarding school. And they're all wearing, like, blazers and ties. And they look like the Warbler Blazers from Glee. Which, obviously, I'm in love with the Warblers. And, like, I just, like, died inside. Like, I love a boy in a blazer with a tie. Like, I just can't. <laughs> so, oh, I really don't know what to do for my ear, though. My ear hurts so bad. My mom wants to take me to urgent care tomorrow. She wanted me to call my grandparents and have me go to urgent care today. And I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like it. <laughs> I felt so bad last night. I felt really sick. I was really pale. <sighs> I literally lost four pounds this weekend because I feel sick and don't feel like eating. I asked my mom to bring me home crackers. She's like, yeah, they didn't have any crackers. Because they stop at Pilot on the way home from my cabin. So apparently they don't have crackers at Pilot. But my mom was like, I'll make you toast. And I was like, thanks. I'm not crazy about toast unless it's on like plain white bread. I hate like rye bread. I hate bread with seeds. I hate anything with seeds on it. I hate bagels with seeds on it. I hate anything with seeds on it. So I was like, thanks. I don't really want toast, but thanks. That's my status update. I just edited together a cover in GarageBand. Different cover than I was covering on Friday. Which was from the Dear Evan Hansen movie. It's The Tourist by John Cozart and Dodie Clark. And it's basically two songs over the same chords but the two songs are completely different melodies from each other but none of the notes from both of the melodies overlap so it's like this crazy amazing harmony and like oh, it's like musical genius like I love it so much I covered it now I need to like film that part <laughs> I like did the cover in GarageBand but now I need to like film it for YouTube so that's a thing I gotta do. But I, f I felt like really productive. Even though I felt so sick this weekend and still do. But that's my story. Okay, so this is like, I don't think I showed this or played this when I was talking about this on Friday. But seeing a Broadway song is hard because it's a lot of like chest voice singing. <laughs> So, anyways, I don't sing Broadway songs, so I'm not used to that. But anyways, there's this one part in this song, Waving Through a Window, by from Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen, oh my gosh, I can't talk. And it's this really high 
part at the end where it's just all chest voice and like very belty and I had to transpose this up four half steps to put it in a key that I could sing the lowest notes in because I have a very high voice. So these high belty parts were very high because I transposed it up. But this last, this piece right here that I clicked on, this piece is like the hardest one out of the whole song. So I did like a lot of takes and stuff and like trying to get it good. And my voice was just very like cracky because like my voice is not trained to sing like this. And then I just got this one take that was like freaking fantastic out of nowhere. And there's even, like, vibrato on it. I don't know how I even managed to do that. But, like, okay. Just listen to this. Like, how did I do that? That's so freaking high. So, this is, like, the end. Like, I'm, like, so proud of the end. Because it was so hard to sing. Like, oh, just like, that was so hard and it took me like forever, but I'm very happy with it. And now I just need to do background music. <sighs> I'm doing a neti pot. I'm scared. <laughs> oh. What about like, oh, how do I breathe? When I did it, I just remember, like, I would, I had my mouth open, I had, I think I had my face like this. I feel like I think I might have been able to breathe through my mouth. I don't remember not being able to not breathe. This told me someone was going to come out of my mouth. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I feel like if you're tipped forward, it's not as much I likely. feel like I can't get far enough over the bath. I feel like I need to be like in the bathtub. <laughs> no, Kylie. If you can, no, people do this over the sink, so certainly you can do it over the bathtub. But my legs aren't flexible. See, like it's gonna fall like right. Go there. on your knees. I can't. It's not comfortable. You can't go like this. It's not comfortable. We'll be uncomfortable for ten <laughs> seconds. There you go. <laughs> Just this. <laughs> Cause I'm like, yes, right oh. like that. Stick it up your nose and squeeze. Come on, I got things to do. I got cat boxes to clean. Can I show you the video after this? You can show it to me while I'm doing the cat box. You have to watch it though. The funny part is the watching it part. Just do this. <laughs> if I do this, will you take me to see if you're gonna dance? There'll be more of a chance of it. I found the Broadway version of Dear Evan Was it like a bootleg thing? What does that mean? Somebody secretly recorded it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And then they, they didn't even name it, like... Right. Oh, Broadway version of yeah. Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> Slime tutorial of Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> Literally. And then one of the comments was like, Who clicked on this thinking they were going to watch a two-hour <laughs> slime tutorial? <laughs> How hard do I have to squeeze this? It's not just gonna come out on its own. I need like a pillow. <laughs> I'm so scared. I feel like I'm gonna faint. Are you ready? I'm, I am very ready. It needs like a better tip. Well, you're a girl with a little <laughs> tiny nostril. Yeah, but I have a huge nose bump. <laughs> Gotten. 
I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. I'm not enjoying this. Uh, well, it's not. It's going to make you feel better. It's not. It's making me feel worse. Go up the other nostril. Get some in there. Open your mouth. It's not coming out the other nostril. It just feels like I'm drowning. This isn't working. Try it again. Which nostril? The original nostril. Try squeezing it a little harder. So it goes up. So it goes up into your head. Maybe you're not squeezing it hard enough. I cannot squeeze this harder. It's all coming out the same nostril. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. All right, do the other nostril. Well, has anyone not ever had this work before? How is this not working? I don't know. Because I have the pot. Try tipping your head to the side more. Try tipping it a lot to the side, like you said you saw in the videos. Yeah, but then it goes down my throat even more. I don't think it will if you're leaning forward like you are. Plus, this is a better shot you're for the, the video. You're not the one who's experiencing this. Turn your head toward me. There you go. <laughs> you can't make me laugh. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, you had it that time. That a girl. Good job. Do it on the other it side. It feels horrible. Well, you know, maybe it feels horrible because your face is all clogged up. No, it feels horrible because there's water going up my nose. All That's right. why it feels well, horrible. Well, do the other side just like you did that one. And squeeze long enough so that it comes out the other side. You had it there. You had it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Keep going. It's going down my throat. I'm not enjoying this and I'm not impressed. 10 out of 10 I don't recommend. I feel no different. In fact, I feel worse because I feel like I just inhaled a bunch of crap. And now my throat tastes like salt. All right, try again in that same nostril so that you can try to get it out the it other side. It did come out the other side. But it barely came out the it other side. It barely came out the other one. You did better on the other one. I don't like doing the left one. The right one feels better. How about the right one? All right. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> Why do you think it's funny? Good job. Good job. It literally feels like I'm inhaling water. It's horrible. All right, try on the other side now. Do another one on the other side. And then can be done. And then you can be done. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kneeling in my own nose water. <laughs> helping to loosen everything up maybe it will help everybody says this helps so it's probably gonna help when when am I gonna feel it I sound so nasally you do I feel like I sound worse maybe it's working oh my gosh so 
I sound so funny now. <laughs> Don't I? So Ben Platt, who's in Dear and Handsome, I watched this interview of him, and like during the show he cries a lot because mm -hmm. like that's like what he's supposed to do, and he was like asked like how do you do that for like two hours because it's like a two hour like Broadway show, and he was saying that after you like cry and like all your mucus comes out of your head. He's like, then you can sing so great because there's nothing up there. He's like, the uh, best time to sing is right after you cry. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Oh, I don't look as pale now. What do you think? Still a little bit, but not as pale. Yeah, better. So, I just went to a urologist appointment. Ooh, fun. And, <laughs> um... This is a new urologist, not the same one that traumatized me like two summers ago. Different one. So. A much nicer one. He was so nice. He's very nice. Very, very nice. Basically, we just went to like talk to him and like be like, hey, your girl has kidney stones. <laughs> and your boy, the do <laughs> doctor, I'm not going to say his name, said we should go see you. Yeah, my kidney doctor recommended this guy, so I was like, great. So, he ultrasounded my kidneys, he just like, checked them, because I told him I do have a kidney stone right now, the one that I had in my vlog, where it was like my most traumatic weekend ever. Uh, that one, and so he looked at my kidney to see if it was hydronephrosis, mm, which, very good. which means like, your pee backs up into your kidney and then it gets swollen and angry and horrible and then you get kidney infections and it's bad. He checked that kidney and he was like, oh, your kidney looks fine. So it's probably not an obstructing stone, but it actually probably was two weekends ago when it first appeared, but not anymore. And we asked him a lot of questions about what happens if I have an obstructing stone and they need to like do something? I have always passed all my kidney stones just by myself, on my own. People like go in there, they get like lithotripsy where they like shockwave the kidney stones. They get stents. They go in with like grabber things and grab the stones and take them out. Like it's like, it sounds so horrible. And it is! <laughs> but, I was like... There could come a time where, like, something bad happens. So that's why I have a new urologist. And we asked him, like, I faint a lot at medical things. So we were like, would you be able to knock me out? And he was like, yes. You would 100% be knocked out every time. No pain. Like, great. <laughs> I'm still scared, but but it's less scary now because we now now we know for sure you you will be knocked out. Yeah, you know that you met this doctor and you know he's very nice, and he was totally like respectful of your how what you, you yeah know. he was fine with just letting me want to pass it as long as I can pass them, and so I have heard this is apparently a thing you get a stent sometimes they make you just pull it out at home I was like I'm not capable of that that would not be able to occur and he was like yeah if you got a stent I would take it out for you and I was like thank goodness so now she knows what will happen if it ever comes to that and she hopefully will feel better knowing that she has the answers to what if that this what if that and so, obviously, we had to, like, wear masks because it's, like, we're actually at a hospital. That's where my urologist is, apparently. And even though, like, this part of my face is covered, everybody was still like, oh, my gosh, you look so pale and white. Because <laughs> I just turned pale and <laughs> I get anxious and go to doctor's things. So, everybody, like, was, like, low-key concerned. But, you know what, that's just how I am. <laughs> Oh, and then, so, he was, like, low-key concerned about this current kidney stone. He was like, 
you know, if it's like still painful in two weeks, we should get a CAT scan. And here I am like in my head being like, I just had like a month and a half to two month long kidney stone. I've only had this one for like a week now. You know, I don't think that's like necessary yet. Like <laughs> last night I was telling her how like I've had so many kidney stones and so many bad things. I was like, my life is so sad. <laughs> so the end. Hi. I'm ending my vlog. I hope you enjoyed my weekend slash today. <laughs> so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, turn on my post notifications, and leave me any comments of any thoughts you have down below.